proverbs is so important in our lives because it tells us about how wisdom comes in and, and and saves us you know a lot of people have made some silly decisions because they have believed in somebody's representation rather than really what they are what they're really all about hey guys welcome back to another <laughs> another channel another video i felt the holy spirit nudging as i was coming in the house this afternoon and you know wisdom we always talk about wisdom we have knowledge we have understanding then wisdom is knowing when to apply the knowledge with understanding and obviously of time being mindful of the audience being mindful of what you are actually trying to do with that data so I was just having a little experience or a little conversation with the Holy Spirit. So, you know, the book of Proverbs has a lot of scriptures around wisdom. It's about wisdom shouts at the city gates. Wisdom is always looking, 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 looking. And in the specific context of how people can sometimes misrepresent themselves based on the outer outer uh, appearance so many times i've i've noticed that a lot of people may not know exactly what they're doing may not even know what they're doing at all but the way that they come across it makes it seem as if they actually know what they're talking about so i've noticed this because wow sometimes people really get away with murder especially today when all of us have access to data even all of us have access to knowledge articles and all these types of information sitting at our fingertips it's easy for someone to be a representation of what they're actually not so where wisdom comes in is when you actually know the the topic or the, the point of discussion that people are talking about and you actually understand it hence why it's so important to have people who who are who, people who are whether you're a leader or a lot of young people not a lot of them but some of them because of the way they come across and how they are able to 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 wow like wow the room it may seem as if whatever they're talking about they actually know what they're talking about but they have no idea how wisdom then plays a critical step here is when someone is observing and trying to discern the understanding versus just the knowledge itself and hence why it's so important in 2024 to stop believing everything you hear stop being sucked into people's representation instead of their understanding and knowledge and actually application of something obviously i'm not saying every topic somebody needs to apply it but they need to have some institutional knowledge about it i just want to say this because guys you know this book of proverbs is so important in our lives because it tells us about how wisdom comes in and and, and saves us you know sometimes we think this is just um, a small thing and you know um i don't have to know exactly what's going on but if if some if if you are an authoritative figure and somebody's selling you something you can't just go on a wimp that whatever they're selling because they're they are they, they are part of that industry looks like they've worked in other um, uh, air, similar areas you need to swift out um, proper data swift out proper consultation and just indicate indicative ways to see that that person that's, that's selling you whatever they're selling you is actually quite to standard and it will actually work for you and for whatever area you wish to take it through take it in and apply it a lot of people have made some silly decisions because they have believed in somebody's representation rather than really what they are what they're really all about wisdom comes in in this particular scenario as i'm sharing this i'm also just it's just going to me right now it just came to me right now fresh off my top of my head and i just felt late to to take a video before it it leaves again so i want to know from you guys why do you feel that people have to have to put on a representation of something that they're not obviously we know some people are doing it for bad intentions because they're scammers but we also know that some people 
uh, mean well, but they just don't want to be sought out as not knowing whatever they're, they're not knowing, right? You kind of have to have either the industry backing or people in your area of influence or people in your network to kind of help you kind of solve this in a more practical and realistic way where you can have more credibility by bringing in those people rather than you coming across as the sole proprietor or sole point of contact for this specific thing. You can exaggerate their existence. And another thing that I was oh, thank you Holy Spirit. Another thing that the Holy Spirit nudged to me is just because somebody is looking so busy and all energetic doesn't mean that they are doing the most. One thing I've also picked up is that sometimes people people can people can misinterpret someone busyness and oh my gosh I'm busy doing this. Oh my, they're always the ones that are rushing from shh, shh, shh. And it can give you a sense that, oh, I wonder what that person is up to. That person is clearly busy because look at them. They're just up and down, up and down. And you know the thing about wisdom. If you are somebody who's not wise, you will think that behavior quantifies as someone who is actually doing something of value and of substance. And that is not the case. People are such frauds, guys. And it's important, especially in areas of leadership where you have people, a lot of people that are looking up to you, that you are able to sift the real from the fake. Some people can come across as really like, uh, yeah, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Meanwhile, it's like, calm down. Why are you exaggerating what you're doing? Like, I'm not saying don't take pride in your work, don't take pride in your craft. I'm just saying is, don't be, um, don't, don't over exaggerate whatever you are doing just to come across as having a lot to do because I've sat in conversations where I felt that sometimes people can confuse somebody's business with their value or impact. Meanwhile, somebody who's not actually doing the whole theatrics of running around and moving from one area to the next and just over exaggerating what they do, that person could be the one that's actually doing the most important thing. Again, wisdom comes in very handy. If you don't know how to discern that uh, uh, this person is exaggerating, I read through this, I've seen this before, it does not take all of that. Full of scriptures about wisdom and really the traits that quantify somebody who has wisdom james 3 verse 13 it says who is wise and understanding among you let them show it by their good life by deeds done in humility that comes from wisdom you can point out from this scripture what james is saying is when you are somebody with wisdom you do something in humility so if you have a behavior of being high and mighty being pompous you are not operating from a character trait of of being humble. Uh, you are operating from a trait of pompous and uh, very uh, high up there. Proverbs 2 verse 6, For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Referencing in the beginning that wisdom comes from knowledge and understanding. Knowledge and understanding. Knowing when to apply it, knowing when to say it, and knowing when to swift out and discern that's when wisdom is really a game changer right proverbs 11 verse 12 when pride comes then comes the disgrace but with humility with humility comes wisdom humility tra wisdom traits are, are followed by humility so if you are somebody who, who is humble uh you you will be wise where where there's whereas um you you know the top sometimes wisdom does not necessarily mean that you need to know a, su a particular subject but you need to have the um, the humility to say i don't know and then god will give you wisdom if you ask for it right proverbs 16 verse 6 how much better to get wisdom than gold it is so much better to get wisdom at proverbs 13 17 verse 28 even fools are thought wise if they keep silent and discerning if they hold their tongue this is also another trait that comes from wisdom. So being quiet is also a sign of wisdom. Um, I mean, 
somebody who is quiet can be can be can be one of those people who know how to apply wisdom it's not necessarily saying you just you just being quiet for no reason because obviously you need to talk when you need to talk and that's also wise but um i think solomon was saying here those who just keep on chit chit checking for the sake of talking uh are not counted amongst the wise because they just like to talk and now those people he refers to as fools the one who gets wisdom proverbs 19 verse the one who gets wisdom loves life the one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper amen it's so it, it is so it is so good to cherish understanding and it's so good to 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 desire understanding right because not everything is black and white um sometimes you it's always good to get a uh, perspective for somebody and seeking to understand uh, rather than just to listen and not understand the mouth of a righteous utter wisdom and their tongue speak what is just that is psalm 37 psalm 37 verse 13. verse 13 verse 10 where there is strife there is pride but wisdom is found on those who take advice it's so important when you read the scriptures you don't only look at the outcome but you look at the the the, the activities or the traits that kind of lead to that outcome so solomon is saying uh people who are who take advice are people who are amongst the wise and who cherish understanding will are the ones who get the the one who gets wisdom loves life the one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper and then lastly in ephesians 5 verse 15 verse 2 16 be careful then how you live life how you live not as unwise but as wise making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil taking every opportunity i sometimes feel i don't take every opportunity of every day sometimes my days are just lazy fair and i have no plan and sometimes that's good but my my days aren't structured and you know the the author here paul is saying that we need to be careful in how we live uh, because the days are evil in the most of every opportunity you know there's so much to do in this wonderful earth that sometimes we can lose um the opportunity to take advantage of it and that's why you always hear people say that um life is so short make the most of whatever you have important just to to to, to pull yourself out of whatever you're going through some situations may be hard but try and pull yourself not to lose the day because of maybe your disappointments so anyway i wanted to share a bit of that i hope i made sense and let me know what you guys think if you if you can resonate with this topic or this thought it will it will it will be helpful to engage with you guys also from that perspective have an awesome day bye